Hi everyone! On today's episode we're going to talk about the air side of your mountain bike fork. Hi guys! As you can see we are in Finale Ligure for the Enduro Trophy of Nations 2019. Today we're going to meet the guys at the Sun Enduro factory team. We're very happy to hang out with them today. We're also very proud to support their program. They achieved an amazing result this season. In fact, their rider Kevin Mikkel has finished the season by stepping on the EWS overall podium with an amazing third place. Enough talk, let's go check it out. So guys, thank you very much for having us today. So we are, I would say, congrats yeah, for what you welcome. achieved this yeah. year. It's amazing, like third overall in the EWS season. It's like really outstanding. You did an amazing job. So how was your season actually? So Amazing. Yeah? Uh, totally unexpected to be served with Kevin. And we're so happy to manage to do that. And thanks a lot for our sponsor and particularly to Formula for braking and suspensions. Thank you, cool. Vittorio. Thank you, guys. It's, it's Thank been a you. pleasure, really. Congrats for the amazing job. Okay, so before we go more into details of the two-air system, we would like to explain to you why we decide to use this system. So most of the fork out there, they have two air chambers, one positive and one negative, but just one valve up here. That means that the two chambers are not 100% separate. The way how this system works, again, is a system that you can find in pretty much the vast majority of the forks out there. You have the piston inside the stanchions between the two chambers, and then you have the O-ring around the piston. At some point of the stanchions, inside the stanchions, you have this little machining that it's, it works pretty much like a hole, like a passage between the two chambers. Any time that the O-ring goes through this little machining inside the stanchions, the air goes from one chamber to the other. This is the way how the vast majority, I would say, of the forks out there work. So they have two chambers, positive and negative, but just one air valve. The two air system consists in two chambers, positive and negative, and two separate valves, positive and negative. The positive is the silver one, and the negative is the bronze one. So why we choose this system? I would name mainly three reasons. First one, reliability. So the system with something that we can call the pressure equalizer, the technology I was describing before, it's pretty much like an O-ring going up and down into a little corner, two little corners actually, uh, two little corners of alloy. So it's rubber, because an O-ring is made out of rubber, going in friction with uh, alloy, the internal of the stanchions. Well, this is for us, from our point of view, is a very sensitive spot. And because we really want to have our product super reliable, we didn't went for that path. Second reason, also very important for us. Uh, with that system, you cannot change the travel because any internal parts is made to fit exactly that travel. With this system, with two separate air chamber, so you can actually run the travel of this fork from 120 to 160 without any problem. The third one, last but not least, I would say, maybe the most important one, is that with this system, you can use the negative chamber as a fine tuning tool. On the pressure chart on the fork, we suggest that the negative chambers needs to have always 20 PSI more than the positive chamber. But what you can really do is to have, let's say, playing from 20 to 30 PSI more if you want more small bump compliance and small bump sensitivity. So if you want to work on that, you can have uh, the negative chamber set from 20 to 30 PSI more than the positive chamber. Let's say that you want more support for small bumps. So you want the fork to stay very high 
even with small bumps, well, at that point you can play from 10 to 20 PSI more in the negative chamber. These are the reasons why we decided to use this technology on the Selva R, which is the racing model, so R stays for racing, because we believe that in a race scenario, having this tool of the negative chamber, it really, really uh, works very well. L'avantage de la Selva R, c'est qu'avec cette chambre négative, sur des week-ends de course, on peut s'adapter sur uh, tous les terrains donner plus de soutien, mettre plus, euh, plus de, sur le début de course, être un peu plus souple ou être plus soutenu. Euh, C'est vraiment quelque chose en plus que cette fourche peut apporter et qui nous convient énormément. Je vais vous faire voir à quel point c'est facile de régler une Selva R de chez Formula. Donc tout d'abord, on va enlever les, bo les bouchons sur la chambre positive et la chambre négative. Première chose à faire. Deuxième chose, on va fixer la pompe pour vider la chambre négative. Videz-la avec la pompe pour éviter les projections sur le disque. Maintenant, on va vider la positive. Une fois cela fait, on va pouvoir attaquer les réglages. Vous pouvez vous référer au tableau qu'il y a derrière, par rapport au poids du pilote, mettre la bonne pression dans la positive et dans la négative. On attaque par la positive en premier. Voilà. On est à 70 PSI pour mon pilote. On lock et on dévisse. De cette façon, vous ne perdez pas d'air. Vous gardez la pression. Vous bloquez le lockout. De cette façon, en pompant, en mettant de la négative, mettant de l'air dans la négative, vous allez éviter d'aspirer votre euh, et perdre du débattement. Donc maintenant. On va gonfler la négative en fonction de ce que vous, vous voulez comme, euh, comme setting. Donc nous allons mettre entre 10 et 20 PSI de plus que la positive pour avoir, énorme, pour avoir du, soutien, du soutien sur le, le début de course. Et si vous voulez en, moins de soutien et avoir plus de sensibilité, on va mettre entre 20 et 30 PSI. Donc là, nous, on va rester sur 20 PSI de plus. J'ai mis 70 PSI en haut. Je vais mettre 90 en bas. Je suis sur 90. Je débloque pour éviter de la perte. Et vous pouvez retirer votre pompe. Maintenant que nous, on a fini nos deux pressions, vous débloquez le lockout, vous allez voir une petite aspiration qui va se faire sur le début de course, c'est la chambre négative qui prend sa place pour avoir votre débattement total. On peut maintenant remettre les bouchons sur votre positive et la négative. Mais vous voyez, ce début de course qu'on leur a. Voilà. To manage two chambers, it's very, very easy. What you have to do just by using your shock pump, actually the formula shock pump with the quick release, is first step, be sure that on both chambers is empty. You don't have air in it. Then you put the desired pressure on the positive chamber. You lock out the fork using the lockout, then you put the desired pressure on the negative chamber, you unlock the fork and you're good to go. It's really super simple. Of course, if you're not a racing guy, 
if you don't want to mess or fine tune the small bump compliance of your fork, we have the Selva S and the Selva C. So we have the, the Selva S is with the positive air chamber and the negative three stage coil spring, and the Selva coil is coil. So let's say that we have options to meet the needs of every riders out there. Okay guys, so that's everything for today. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell down here so you can stay connected with us for any future episode. See you next time.